America from Northern California. If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Mazda 3, make sure that you have trailer wiring. It's required by law. So let's go ahead and break this down. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. To install this trailer wiring, we're gonna go ahead and need to get behind the taillights in the trunk area. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take out the flooring. So first, we're gonna go ahead and take out the rear threshold. And we're gonna do that by removing these two pins. Then we're gonna go ahead and repeat on the passenger side. Now that we have those pins out, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move that. Now that we have the flooring and the threshold removed, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this back, okay? And we're gonna be using these connectors right here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and unplug our taillight harness. We're gonna do the same for the brakes. We're gonna go ahead and take the T-connector with the yellow wire and we're gonna plug that into the two-pin harness. And then we're gonna take the T-connector with the red wire and we're gonna plug that into the three-pin harness. So now we're gonna take this green wire and we're gonna go ahead and run it to the passenger side and do the exact same thing. We're gonna go ahead and feed this through the bumper, okay? Now on the passenger side, we're just gonna be using one T-connector. Goes to this two pin. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Insert that into your T-connector and take the other end and put that into the tail light. Now we're back on the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ground this white wire using the provided self-tapping screw. Okay, so we're out front in the engine compartment. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run the power wire now. We're gonna take it from the battery to the back of the vehicle. We're gonna do that following the brake lines. So the brake reservoir is gonna be right here and that's where the lines are gonna start. We're gonna have to go ahead and bring that power wire down these brake lines. And as you can see, there's a panel covering those, so we're gonna go ahead and lower that using a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna secure the power line using some zip ties. We're gonna go ahead and put this underbody back on. Okay, now that we have the power wire ran through the underbody, I went ahead and I took the power wire through this cross member, avoiding any moving parts and heat. 
and then out and through this cross member, through this hole. And that's where you're going to find this wiring harness. And you're just going to follow that power wire with that wiring harness all the way until you get to a grommet on the driver's side. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull that grommet out now. And we're going we're gonna to go ahead and push this power wire through into the trunk area of the vehicle. All right, now to gain access to that grommet that we just fed our power wire through, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this pin out right here. So as you can see, we have all this excess wire. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shorten that. Now I'm gonna connect this power wire to this converter box using a heat shrink butt connector. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a butane torch. All right, so we're gonna give you two different options to store the four flat, okay? You can always leave it in the trunk area just about right here. Or you can take down that grommet and you can place it next to the receiver. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place it next to the receiver. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pull that four flat down. Now that we have our four flat brought down, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over this driver's side bumper beam, okay? That's gonna help us avoid any heat because we don't wanna melt our wires. Now that I have this four flat brought through to the receiver, I'm gonna be using a four flat mounting bracket. Now a lot of times you'll see that that four flat is just brought through that safety chain loop. U-Haul takes professionalism very seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here and let's show you how to do it. I'm gonna be tightening that mounting bracket with a 10 millimeter socket. This does not come with the kit, but you can get it at your closest U-Haul center or uhaul.com. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a slit in this grommet just so we can keep our wires in place. I'm gonna go about halfway and I'm just gonna slide that power wire in and then our four flat and then put that grommet back in place. So we're done in the trunk area. We're gonna go ahead and clean everything up and put everything back together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter socket to get that nut off the battery post. Now 
and we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect it to the battery. And then just put that nut right back on. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert this 10 amp fuse. Put that top back on. And that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.